Sri Lanka might have the most underrated cuisine ever. I'll be the first to admit I used to think it was just going to be like Indian food, but no. Hundreds of years ago, Sri Lanka had a rich history as a trading port between Asia, Europe, and the Middle East, and Sri Lankan food has so many incredible influences. Think stir fries, curries, fried rice, and sambal. Today, we're going to try it. What up guys, Sydney Food Boy here and today we're in the humble suburb of Mortdale in Sydney South and we're gonna go check out Sri Lankan food. Sri Lankan food is some of the most, ah, man, it's so underrated. There's so much beautiful flavor in Sri Lankan food and I can't wait to show you guys this in today's video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit that like and after you watch the video, leave a comment, tell me what you liked about today's video, what food you like, what food you're gonna go try. Let's go eat, man. My name is Tanaka Kagunasekara. So the restaurant is called Lankan Railway Cafe in Model. Uh, it's been open in almost three and a half years, but it's between in the COVID situation, but we didn't have that much good time. But it's getting now. Yeah, I'm from Sri Lanka, so we're doing the Sri Lankan cuisine in here. Like mostly curries, spicy flavors of other stuff as well. Mostly it's like similar to the Malaysian cuisine. It's spices, we use the um, like Indian aroma spices and also the, some creaminess with uh, Thailand kind of like a coconut tea. In the restaurant, uh, I got the special called the tilak rice, the, like a devil chicken and some crispy prawn. Yeah, this is like a most authentic. The daily change curry is all vegetable. I went to the market and picking up some of uh, the very unusual vegetables, like all most Asian vegetables. And we got always variety of the vegetable curries, so you can try it, more authentic flavors. So this one is a, uh, the caramelized onion, we call it sili sambal. So we cook it in like a very slow fire. So add in some spices, so like a cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, and also some pandan leaf to get really nice, like a flavor. So just until to get nicely caramelized. So you just cook it a little bit with the sugar as well. So we got ooh, some wonderful food to try, man. We got a whole lot of curries here, and these are the different curries that came from just that front hot bar over there. And we're gonna eat that with something called string hoppers. It's pretty much like freshly made steamed rice noodles, and it was very cool watching how they made it. They used like some sort of rice flour and pushed it through a machine. It came out all squiggly like little noodles and all that. And then we also got Sri Lankan style street food called kotu roti. It's called kotu roti because kotu is apparently the sound that they make on the grill when they're sort of chopping it up. And it's a very noisy process, but very entertaining. Sliced bread, smack that all together with all these uh, herbs and spices and meat. We got mutton. And then we got the chef special, which is his favorite thing, which is Sri Lankan style fried rice with uh, fried school prawns and devil chicken on this side. It looks really, really good. First things first, we'll probably try the, the fried rice here and the devil chicken. This is the devil chicken. So it's pretty much like a fried chicken Maryland, which has been fried again in all of these spices, Sri Lankan style spices, man. And you got the onions, the peppers and all that. Oh, sorry, I couldn't help but eat one of the school prawns, man. To me, when they put this dish together, it sort of reminds me of like a Nazi goreng. You get the fried rice and you got a couple dishes on the side. Great flavor in that fried rice. I feel like the correct way to eat this is to like get everything together and just eat it all together in one bite. So you got the chicken, you got the rice, get some onion in there. You got the school prawns too. Textural bonanza, flavor's amazing. Mm. Full prawns, really, really good. And this is um, what they call banana chili. Let's try it out. It's a bit like a capsicum. Definitely a very, very addictive dish, I reckon. The superstar is definitely the, the deviled chicken and the, all the onions and the peppers that come with it. I dare say this is probably some of the best rice that you can get in Sydney. It's spicy, but it's not overly spicy, but at the same time, it's like punching your mouth spice, so you there's a mad explosion of flavor. Every time you take one bite, one spoon of this particular dish, but it's not overly spicy, like it's not too hot, you know what I mean? So good. All right, this is the next thing we're gonna try, and it's called kotu roti. Just imagine like a fried rice, but instead of rice, it's, they use bread instead. And we're gonna take this off here, and then we're gonna use the sauce, and we're gonna drizzle that bad boy all over, yeah? Oh yeah. And then what we're gonna do is just mix that all up. When you see color as good as that, you know that's just full of flavor. Full of flavor, man. All right, let's try this out, man. 
Oh, I really like that mutton. Really nice mutton. Actually, what is mutton? I've got to search out what is mutton. Mutton is lamb, I think. I think pretty much like really soft lamb meat. All mixed up in this. Mmm. When they make it, they use like shredded leek, carrot, gives it a little bit of texture. You got a lot of flavor from you know onion, garlic, and spices. And the texture of it, it's sort of like soft flatbread with a lot of flavor. I feel like this will taste really nice with egg, or like an egg on top. Oh look, there's a bone there. I reckon there's anything inside. I'll try to suck it, yeah. Oh, there was something inside. That was nice. That whole thing just came out, bro. <laughs> look. I believe this sauce is the same as the mutton curry that they put into this. So they just got the extra curry sauce put on the side. You can add it in, extra flavor. You wanna try this one? Enjoy it? Mmm, yummy. Thanks, mate. Nice. Halfway through, I remembered how you said you were hungry. I'm like, I can't even eating without you eating. Let's make this a music video. <laughs> this is a uh, fried bread. Let's try some of that. I feel like you're just gonna snack on this, but we've got a heap of curries to try now, so let's eat it all together. So we're gonna eat the curries with this here, which is the string papa. Pure Southeast Asian, Vietnamese. Doesn't this look like a bull? It's sort of shaped in a circle, which is cool. I'm gonna try and name every single one. Let's have a try. <laughs> so you got mutton or goat curry. You have your fish curry, you got chicken curry, you got deviled fish here, you got beetroot curry, you got butter chicken. This looks very cool. This is uh, coconut sambal, bitter melon. This one here is something called snake goat, apparently. You got okra, you got pumpkin, and you got a relish type of looking one called dal. I'm just yoloing, I don't know what to do. Get this out like that. What should I try first? Man, there's so many to try. Maybe I'll try the, the vegetable ones first because they're quite interesting, right? I'm not usually a fan of okra, so I'm excited to see this one, see whether or not I like it. There seems to be a lot of different spices on it, man. Cheers. It's quite nice. Normally I don't like the okra texture, but that's good. Obviously there's a lot of like different spices that I haven't tried it with before, but that's cool, man. I like the string hopper, man. It's cool, man. All right, let's try the pumpkin. Mmm. Oh, that was nice. I like that one a lot. Mmm. There's like this pumpkin in coconut cream type of vibe. Snake goat. I don't know what snake goat is. Plant of some sort. The way I look at it, it looks like a melon maybe. If you guys have tried snake goat before, if you could educate me a little bit in the comments, that would be good. It definitely reminds me of a melon. Like if you guys have tried winter melon before, it's like winter melon soft on the inside, but on the outside, the skin of it is rougher. That's interesting. This thing's so cool, man. I just keep turning it and <laughs> there's something new to try. All right, bitter melon. I used to hate bitter melon when I was a kid. And then as I grew older, I started liking it because my mum and dad used to make this, like the soup with the stuffed bitter melon inside. You got bitter melon and they, they carved out the inside. They put like pork and vermicelli noodle and stuff inside on the inside. And I used to hate that. And then as I grew older, I actually really liked it. So it's one of my favorite like home style dishes. Definitely tastes like a uh, bitter melon. It's bitter, but it's nice. So far, out of these vegetable ones, I'd probably say the pumpkin is my favorite. And the okra is good too. If you like bitter melon, you'd like this. That's so stupid, what would I say? <laughs> All right, let's try this one. This is called dal. Now, I've been to Nepal. I believe dal means lentil. It's different from any um, dal I've tried before. That's really good too. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really nice. <laughs> We've got the beetroot now. Oh, look at that red coloring, man. Oh, that was cool. Nice and sweet, as you'd imagine beetroot to be. Anytime I eat beetroot, it reminds me of like an Aussie burger. Now we're gonna get to the meats. This one first. Good flavor. That's a really nice curry flavor. Big sort of piece of chicken you know, stuck in my throat. <laughs> I believe this one is fish. Really tangy. This is goat or mutton. That's a really nice curry. I feel like out of the, um, these three curries, that's probably my favorite in terms of the flavor profile. The fish has a bit of a tang to it. The chicken curry is a bit, I guess it's a bit less in terms of the flavor compared to the mutton. The mutton's a lot, a lot of flavor. So this is deviled fish. Deviled fish there. Fried fish and then coated in all those spices and flavors, man. Cheers. I like deviled everything, man. <laughs> I like deviled everything. Come here, seriously. All of the curries, yes, but get the devil chicken, get the devil fish, because the flavor is just insane, man. Being in the kitchen and seeing how they cook it, you know? So much spice, so much flavor onto onions, leeks, tomatoes, and, and then putting the meat onto that, really, really, really nice. This one's a butter chicken. That's a very good butter chicken. This butter chicken is more like 
more buttery and more creamy than other butter chickens I've had. Very nice. I might order more takeaway. And we're nearly done. Let's try one more. This one is a coconut sambal topped with fried curry leaves. Are you supposed to eat all of this? Yeah, Very cold and light, refreshing. I wasn't expecting that. I really like Sri Lankan food. All right, Brian, you try. Incredible, incredible food, incredible flavors. Man, just really, really good stuff. There's a couple of Sri Lankan restaurants in Sydney now, but this is one of my favorite. Get the tilak rice, amazing, man. Um, get the kotu roti, which is what I got. These curries are all really good. My favorite, probably the pumpkin, the dal, the butter chicken, and I would say the mutton curry. Come and check this place out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me and give the video a like. Comment what you loved about this video. Comment what flavors or what cuisines you want me to try next time. I'll catch you in the next one. See you next time. You know what? I've never eaten this before. Oh, look at that. That's a chef right there. Oh, that? Yeah, you're a little tart on the honey. Come on, man. It's Mutton. free. Okay. Whoa. Cool. You don't eat this every day, right? No. Uh, <laughs> my diet. My diet? My diet. Brian, you want one? Yeah. Give him one, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You gotta eat one first. Have one. Oh, it's warm, it's man. Only, it's the only good one that's hot. Hey, you haven't eaten yet, man. Yeah, man. It's gonna get cold, man. Yeah, hey, what's going on, man? <laughs>